There are a couple ways that you can place defibrillator pads, so let's talk about them. First and foremost, at whatever hospital or facility you are working with, I encourage you to go over to that little code cart and check out the defibrillator pads, and it should show you on the packaging or somewhere on there how you should place those specific defibrillator pads. But in general, defibrillator pads are placed very similarly regardless of what type of pad. So let's talk about it. One way you can do it in an adult patient is the anterior posterior method. We know that the heart is on the left side. So as you can see, these pads are a little bit more on the left side of the patient's front of their chest. And then posteriorly, it is on their left side of their back. You can also do anterior lateral. One of the pads is up on the right side of the patient's chest and then the other one is on the left lower side below their heart if you haven't kind of gathered you're trying to create a direct pathway from one pad to the next that includes directly going through the heart so if you were to be shocked you can see that from this pad to the one that's placed down here that is directly going into the line site of the heart pediatric patients the defibrillator pads typically go anterior or posterior as well however because pediatric patients are smaller and the defib pads are kind of big. Um, these typically go just like front and center on the chest and then directly on the patient's back. A couple other things to just note, you always want to make sure that you're applying those defibrillator pads to the patient's bare skin. Don't apply them over clothing. If the chest is wet, you want to make sure you wipe it dry. And if there's a lot of body hair, then you can either shave it or you can just take another set of defibrillator pads, put them on and wax that hair off. For pediatric patients, it's ideal to use pediatric pads. However, if you don't have pediatric pads available, you can always use adult pads on a peds patient as well. The general rule of thumb is uh, children eight and under weighing less than 55 pounds, use the pediatric pads, otherwise use the adult pads on any children that appear to be older than or weigh more than this right here. You also wanna make sure that you're not folding or cutting the AED pads. You don't need to manipulate the pads in any sort of way. If you're unsure of the patient's age, then you're gonna just do your best guess. If the patient's showing any signs of like puberty, facial hair, breast development, then go ahead and use those adult pads.